They're very tough opponents. Babina Noko's own lofty ambitions require them to be at their best on nights like this. Well won back. That's nicely done. Here's Maklo up to turn it over to Castillo. Kazichi is fighting hard to win it once again. Might break here for Dupria. Bends it towards goal. In the end, it's straight at Badra Sangare. I think a defender may have helped to intervene there. And I wanted to say earlier on when you spoke about Dupria playing different position depending on who he partners up front, he's forever dangerous irrespective of which position he plays. You look at now the opportunity that he got out wide from the right hand side. Of course, Kizzi Chiefs doing very well to steal the ball back. Yet again, they're trying to play in between there, but Kadoso could have cleared the line a little bit earlier. But look at Dupree hitting the target there, Sangari there, making sure that he keeps the team season in the group stages. The club uh, that they play against this weekend, they come from Lumbubashi, but they'll be playing in Kinshasa in the National Stadium. Is that stolen here by Castillo? Oh, well, he went for the delicate chip. Whether his intention was to score to try and set up Saile, that is unclear. But still they keep the pressure on now in the clutches of Badra Sangare. Still to be able to steal the ball, very risky from Skukuni to try and play the ball out. You can see how wobbly the ball is there you should actually clear the lines but look at anticipation from Castillo winning that ball there yes he does have two players but also Catoso's positioning as well forces him to take that risk but I think the Kizzi Chiefs could have done better yeah perhaps a little cut back to Ashley Dupria yeah they have they had numerical numbers inside the box they could have it could be 1-0 up Ended up at Skakuni United to the surprise of many as Brandon Pearson is able to get his gloves on that and threatened to uh, fly over him. Yeah, I think from wherever they're trying to play the ball, just in between the goalkeeper and the defenders, just on that penalty spot. But you can see the addition over the weekend, but this is the first time he's featuring in a league match, having been injured in pre season. Oh, terrific face from Christian Saile, the angle really against him. Very alive. Look at the high line there. You know, in between Katoso and Chibaba there, but still managed to win the ball. Of course, the angle is very awkward for him to be able to do anything, but that's what you need from a striker, that's what you need from a winger at home against Chippy United and Royal AM they've also got a massive 3-0 win over Amazulu as that one has clipped in behind that's really nicely done by Urizu but in comes the challenge and a telling one at that and perhaps precisely why he's been included in the lineup for this evening Initially, Uhizu watched it over his shoulder too well and then he took too many touches I think he took too many touches I think that first bounce there you need to stretch your leg there at least to give yourself an opportunity that bounce after that bounce day there, there it is we're supposed to take it but good cover defense there from Novo reading it very well I think you can see he's undecided as to which led to use and I think he let that after that bounce becomes a problem because he could hit it clear not far enough though Ohizu laying it off for a man who's very capable from here Jamie Weber pulls the trigger and despite a deflection easy for Brandon Peterson. And there it is, just like that. Skakuni United catch Kaiser Chief snapping. And they are up and running here at the Moses Mabida Stadium. 30 seconds shy of the 45 minute mark oh well, they were given a warning sign by Jamie Weber and moments later it's Uhizu who scores his fourth in the Premiership this season the Chiefs have trailed in each 
of their last three matches. Nick it away from use of mod was Jamie Weber who stuck a boot in. It's the pass that comes from Ohizu. It's a finish in the end from uh, Elias Mokwana, in fact. Three one. They've done it the month prior against Supersport. That's a brilliant take. Can't sort his feet out in time though, but uh, proving to be more and more of a threat as this half wears on. Pule Mori. He's continuing the way he finished this first half. Look at the, the way he received the ball in between the lines. That's what you need from an attacking player. Oh. Just unfortunate there that uh, the ball had been stuck in his feet. A good recovery from Cardoso as well. Yeah. Now to Priya. Struck that one. Nicely threaded through the lines. But low again. Yusuf Mart on his left. Mm. Fierce hits. It flies over. You need to try those. You look at when Keza Chiefs are. Get that equalizer. Oh, give it away by Sangare. Pule Mori pulls the trigger. Still a chance on for Kaiser Chiefs. And it's flown in. The Gamble Boys hit back. Calamitous from Sangare. Game on at the Moses Mabita Stadium. Run, guess who touches the ball? Yeah. Whoever inside the box, very clever, knows when to get inside the box. Cleverly so, but also Stokune could have cleared the lines. I think the confidence as well. The high confidence, they want to play the ball. It's very dangerous in that area. Pula does well to steal the ball. But look at how committed Castillo is, making sure that the ball hits the back of the net. Four goals this season does Edson Castillo. Tule Mori. Very clever there from Tule Mori. Anticipating that ball, being able to steal it. And it's exactly what House Kukuno as well scored the goal from Keza Chiefs, stealing the ball and be able to go punish. Yes, Keza Chiefs as well doing the same thing, stealing that ball. Very clever there from Tule Mori to the game. Swinging delivery is well met. Stuart Matlow's struck the woodwork. Very close to opening his Chiefs account. Now Dove! Chiefs come from behind to lead. And Ed Milson Dove on his return to the starting 11 has put his side in front. We we spoke earlier about uh, playing against a team like Stukuni that defends in the low block. You need to be able to use the set pieces correctly. On the pitch, they should be using that aerial strength in a for good advantage. That's an excellent header. You're right in the corner. And despite the sprawl from Sangare, couldn't keep it out. For this season as Mokwana lays it into the path of Mobia. Decent ball! Oh! How has he missed that? Well, it came off the upright initially. Two of the substitutes involved. Peterson left stranded and then turned wide of the upright. You look at the run there from Moby. Look at the decent cross puts inside the box. Vila finding himself in that right position. But he could have done better there. I think Masadi could have done better. And again, it's going to be one of those conversations again. Because the Chiefs conceding in the late critical rather. Yeah. perhaps for one last attack from the visitors Dove who won it for Kaiser Chiefs 
dumps it clear as the final whistle.